Good morning, brothers. Welcome to the Brown Bag Gentlemen. Today we're going to going back old school, very old school, 1940s old school. Gillette Tech. Not my personal favorite, uh, just because it's not as aggressive as I'd like it to be. But if you're looking for a mild razor all day long, bought it used from an antique store. First vintage razor I ever bought. It's worn. You can see the finish is worn there where somebody's thumb has been there for, you know, for decades, basically. <laughs> uh, you know, it's scratched on top if you look up really close and all that. But, but it's from the 40s. It's kind of old. <laughs> it's like 80-year-old razor. So I was like, yeah. So let's, let's do that today. And then see, I, I, I think I spent 30 bucks for that at an antique store. Probably do it cheaper. I wouldn't spend more than that off of eBay or, or Etsy or anything. Just that would be like my maximum for an old tech. I wouldn't just wouldn't spend more than that tops. Um, this condition twenty would have been better, but I didn't know I was my first one. I was getting into it, so we'll see. I've already washed my face for the day. I've got two days growth. You can see the scruffiness. So in today's soap, Chella, good old Chella, and it's it's getting some patina to it. Getting more yellow. I don't know if it's as well as light in here. Let me turn on the higher light here. There we go. Overhead light, see if that'll help. But it's getting a little more yellowy. That's why I say, see, I basically I stopped um, loading in the container. I, that's why I use a spoon. Dollar store fine, two for a dollar. <laughs> and I gave it a little bend in the handle too to make it just easier to skip. I, see, I bent the head a little bit more just, just to make it easy to scoop at the back of the spoon. That's the way I do it. So I just figured point it out. But bro, the brush is a bit rough. Get my, get on my hands here. Let me wipe it off. There we go. It's all loaded. Let me just wipe the face a little bit. There we go. Fresh haircut yesterday. Finally, it's been a couple months since I had a haircut, so you did badly. Temperatures here in the 70s in the south. Here finally, spring is here. Pollen's getting on, you know, we're getting into pollen season pretty soon. I just saw pollen residue on my driveway yesterday for the first time for the year. So, yeah, it's going to hit with a vengeance in another week or two. We just call it yellow car season because, yeah, it's yeah, you don't even bother washing the car. It's just going to be thick yellow pollen. You'll go through your windshield wiper fluid. <laughs> I'm sure the sales are spiked in, in the month of April, especially. <laughs> okay, let's get this thing. Warmed up here in the sink water. Light handle, just a little hollow handle, just a basic little razor for back in the day. Would have been dirt cheap back then. Yeah, it's very mild. Oh, I do have a Gillette Silver Blue, so I think I was intrigued. Put a Gillette Silver Blue in it, and I, I am feeling more performance with that Gillette Silver Blue from last time I used this. I don't remember this. I remember this being fairly lackluster. That's why it, it's in, in my collection, but kind of just never used. I probably haven't touched this razor in a couple of years. Thin head gets up underneath the nose. Hey, if you're a starting shaver, not a bad deal because it is such a mild razor. It instills confidence. Because you don't feel like you're gonna get sliced if you slip. <laughs> it's just it just kind of it's a cruiser, it's a daily cruiser. You can do it half asleep and and not hurt yourself. <laughs> At least too badly. Oh, I like the smell of cello. I just like the smell of cello. Just always have. And that sweet almond smell, I like it. Oh, let's get a little dry. Let's get a little water on the tips. There we go. There we go. Lathers easily. I mean, especially if you put the soap in the bottom of the bowl like I did. You know, really, loads easy. I mean, this is just thick. Just like I normally like it. I decided not to go too thin today. I've been doing the thinner lather a lot lately, the last several weeks, and today I decided not to. Go back to what I normally do. 
And with this brush, this good old Razor Rock 400 brush, lathers easy. And this is just the basic one, I think with a 22, 24 millimeter tops. Good size. Well, I do tend to like the 26s. 26 millimeters to me is a nice sweet spot. Because of course I've got to, you guys seen some of my bigger brushes. But the 26, I think, I think probably the, the Phoenix one I have is 26. And then the uh, AP shape goes to 30. That AP shape goes a beast. It's, it's so big. And yes, it's Saturday, and yes, I'm shaving second pass under my nose. Not not my normal, but then again, see, I'm, I'm testing out this razor. Yeah, yeah. Did a pretty good job. I'm gonna feel a little spot. There you go, got it. So then that thin head, it just a, it does an admirable job underneath the nose. Oops, I did get myself, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, and under the nose, yeah. Okay, so even the mild razors, I should kind of back away from the second pass on Saturdays, just every other day. Okay, yep. All right, second pass done. Pass number three. It feels creamy and nice. I like Jello. I love Jello, rather Jello. I said like Jello. <laughs> Jello. I like it. I mean, it's not a star performer, but it's a good solid performer. So I'm, I'm happy with it. Do I have soaps I like better? Yeah. But this is, to me is just a solid performer. Okay, I'm going, of course, you see me going over it several times with this mild razor. Okay, that ain't bad, that ain't bad, all right. I'm asking for trouble going over too much with that nose, <laughs> I'm really alone. Get to the lip area, see, going against the green is going to get me cut. Yeah, I am liking the Gillette Silver Blue Blade in this. I am. I do like it quite a bit better than the Astra for me. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I mean, it's not as good as it, I mean, it could be a little bit better right here. I mean, I can play with it, but that's good enough. Flip it around. Keep messing around in that area and I'm good area myself. It's just a tender spot for me. And yeah, I gotta work on it a little bit more to get the smoothness I want with this razor. This is just a tough, thick spot here. 
I'm feeling enough slickness. I am feeling enough slickness on the Tela. It's slick still right there. You, you, know, you, you can't see it, but, it, but it's, I can still feel the slickness right here. Yeah, see, I'm having to work on it a little bit more with this razor, but but it's getting it pretty much done. I'm kind of, yeah, happy with the shave. The tetrine out so we can wipe off. And we have a new aftershave today. Well, a classic aftershave um, that I, new to me, I, I purchased some. I got it's, uh, when my wife always gets the cologne, it's one of those men and women thingies, but it's old. And it's been that way forever. And it's just a fresh, like, especially as we're coming into spring, it's a good scent for that. You'll see it in just a minute. Right, let me just warm up the washcloth here. Cold that it's running cold while I'm rinsing off with a wiping off with a warm. Okay, let's get this rinsed off with some cold water. We got little neck. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use the Allen block. Pores. Yeah. Okay. All right, Alan Block. Minor little neck, you treat it like a like a stiptic pencil, you just kind of hold it on there. It doesn't do quite as good as if it's you know, cut this won't stop bleeding. You need to get the stiptic pencil, but you know, the smaller stuff you, it'll, it'll take care of. We'll see. All right, let's wipe this off. That Get aside, I'll wipe, I'll wipe off all the equipment off camera. But we got 4711 aftershave, classic light citrusy, doesn't last. Got your alcohol burn, and yeah, I don't like I, I like the alcohol burn, so I use it right away. I don't let it sit. I know Ken shaving will be guessing, he doesn't care for it, he lets it sit for 10 seconds. Yeah, I like that burn. I like it. Yeah, I'm feeling the sting right there. But the rest of it, no, really. Even after I went off there, all this, all, all that spot, no, not feeling it. That is a mild razor. So if you're thinking about getting into DE wet shaving, and we're thinking about a vintage just to start with, yeah, yeah, that's not a bad one. That, that classic tech razor from the 40s. Let's just give it a little wipe off. Handle. There we go, the towel. There we go. See, I mean, it's you know, it's it's 80 years old. You can see it's got the the where the finish is just kind of worn off. It's just it's just old. It's been used a lot. Original. This is the the condition I, I purchased it in. Have not refinished it or anything. Just the way it's going to stay. Alrighty. Nice and fresh. Fresh haircut. Fresh shave. Feeling good. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed and go with God.